it's Nikki here and so today we have our monthly manicures for the month of May. So for May I had a little play around with uh, some more new colours that have come into my collection this month. Um, so yeah, uh, a lot of new polishes have come into my collection and I had a bit of a play with them. So, uh, one of the first polishes I bought in was the Essence Out of Space Stories in number nine, Mermaid of the Galaxy. And it was this gorgeous, like, teal blue with shift of gold and blue sort of colour. So it's this really gorgeous colour. I do have one to seven of these Essence Outer Space stories. I did do a video on these when they first came out. It's not the greatest quality, I'll admit. Um, but um, I can link that for you down below if you want to watch that. Um, I cannot find number eight. I'm still on the search for number eight. So if anyone can get a hand on number eight of the Essence Outer Space Stories, please let me know. Um, and yeah, if you see it in the shop or online, please tag the link for me down below so I can go and buy it because I hate being out of number sequence. Um, plays havoc with my OCD. So I've got one to seven and then I've got nine. So I'm missing number eight. But this was really gorgeous on my nails. It lasted quite a while, uh, about three or four days. It was very beautiful. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed this. I always like to show the brush. So this is the brush, nice and flat. Um, quite long, but still really easy to uh, manipulate and to do your nails. So yeah, that was Out of Space um, Stories by Essence in the shade Mermaid of the Galaxy. The next two nail polishes I used were from Avon. Now, I don't sell Avon, um, but a friend of my daughter's does sell Avon. And she's only a young lass and I wanted to support her. So I put in a bit of an order and I picked up two nail polishes from her. So the first one is this blue one and it is in their Mark uh, Satin Matte uh, nail polish. And this is in the shade Mystical Mermaid. So you know me, anything with the word mermaid in it and I'm pretty likely to buy it. Uh, this is really weird because normally mermaid things are kind of like greeny blue sort of colour. This is a straight up no green in there, blue. It's just a beautiful blue. Um, it looks like in the bottle there's a shimmer, but it, this is actually a matte with a shine. It's, it's really weird. It dries down to a matte, but it has a, a, a kind of shimmer to it. Um, so it is really weird. I just it wasn't what I was expecting, but it was kind of really nice. Um, it, I, I grew to love this. I really, really did. The application of it was nice and easy. It lasted for about three days, which is about right for me. A very similar brush to the Essence one, which is flat, but still quite long, a good centimetre long, but really easy to apply. And already, the only thing I can see with this is that already I've used with one application, I'm down to here. So I can see this disappearing really quickly with just a handful of applications um, because it seems to be going down really quickly, so being used up really quickly, which is good and bad because A, it means it won't be hanging around in my collection for too long. It means that I can um, use it up and 
uh, justify going out and buying another nail polish with that, um, you know, because it's not hanging around in my collection too long. Um, but it's also not good because if I really, really like this colour, I want it to last. Um, I want the bottle to last me as long as possible. So, yeah, uh, don't know how I feel about it being used up so quickly. Um, as I say, one application and already I can see I'm down to here. So, not sure how I feel about that. And the polish that I paired that one with was another um, Avon nail polish and this is a Mineral Crush nail polish and it is this gorgeous like champagne pink sort of colour and this is literally like crushed diamonds pink crushed diamonds on your nails it is absolutely gorgeous the application was really easy Inside you have like tiny pink micro glitters and then silver mini glitters. So it really is like crushed diamonds on your nails. And this thing, it still hadn't chipped by the time I was taken off after four days wear. So this thing, this lasts. Um, again, this has used up quite quickly. Oh, sorry. I'm down to here already after just one application. So again, this is the same thing with the other Avon polish. They use up pretty quickly. This one I'm a little bit gutted about because I love this shade. The brush, again, same as the other one. Um, nice and thin. And flat um, but yeah this this nail polish it wasn't even difficult to remove either sometimes with glitter polishes they can be really difficult to remove but I just um, soaked my cotton pad with nail polish remover and then sat the, the pad on my fingers for about 20 to 30 seconds and the majority of this had soaked off and there was no rubbing or scrubbing at my nails. Um, so yeah, really, really enjoyed both of these nail polishes and I've ordered some more because I loved these so much. I also have these on the colour wheel so you can see them here in person. So this is that blue satin matte. So as you can see, it is matte, but it still has this sort of, yeah, satin sort of finish to it. And then this is the uh, champagne crystal one, which is in the shade uh, Pearl. So that is Pearl by Avon in the Mineral Crush. And they are just they're just stunning. They really, really are. My camera just can't do justice to them. I'm so impressed with them. As I say, I don't sell Avon, so it's not like I'm trying to sell you it. Um, I was just really, really impressed and I've ordered some more. So yeah, my daughter's friend will be happy. Um, so yeah, those are those two. The next two that I wore together were these two. So um, this one I've had in my collection for a while. It's one of the Barry M Molten Metal Polishes. And this is in the shade Pink Ice. And it is this gorgeous like pink, like dusky rose sort of shimmery shade. Now, this does have some texture to it. Um, it's, it's kind of like a dusky rose with like red micro glitters in it. So it really is stunning on the nails. Really, really beautiful. Um, easy application. The brush on it is, uh, yeah. Really, really nice flat, short brush. 
this was quite a thin consistency so it you do have to work quickly with it before it starts dripping down your nails um but i did really really like this nail polish it was very very pretty and i paired that with this um primark ps nail polish uh, which my daughter actually bought for me so it is this stunning like chocolatey brown sort of colour and this is um, in the shade brulee and this is really nice this is a beautiful dark chocolate sort of well it's more like a milk chocolate a milk chocolate brown and the two of these paired together really was like stunning um very similar tones on them uh the brush on this is a little bit weird because the brush itself is is great um it's a nice short flat brush but you've got this big handle like the lid as as the handle for the brush and it was really awkward because the brush is not sat square to the handle so I kind of had to hold it at an awkward angle in order to paint my nails it really was it was kind of frustrating in all um, truth and honesty um, but I really do like the shade really really um, love the wear time on it this again lasted about three days before chipping really was very pretty even my daughter turned around and said oh what nail polish are you wearing mum and I was like the one you bought me darling so she, even she was impressed so yeah I really really loved this colour combination a little bit um, awkward with the lid um, as the handle for the brush on this one but yeah really enjoyed wearing this on my nails this month another pairing that I did this month was with another Barry M nail polish and it is this one this is from the under the sea collection which has i think it's only been out for a month or two it hasn't been out for very long this is the under sea collection and this one is in pink tail and it's a really nice sort of like it's a pearlescent pink with a gold shimmer to it um it really really is pretty i don't know if you can see it there that little flash and then i paired that with um an essence gel nail polish in number 55 be awesome tonight and because i used the barry m as like an accent nail and then this one on all the other nails it just really made a beautiful like pink uh, pink manicure really sort of special and I don't generally wear pinks very often I'm not a pink sort of person um, pink was never my favorite color as a little girl um, so yeah it kind of made this sort of pink wearable for me I don't generally tend to to wear this essence one very often because it's just it's just too pink for me um but pairing it with this uh barry m1 really really made this wearable for me again the wear time was about three days so that was great um these essence brushes are just the perfect brush in my opinion so that is the brush nice and flat but quite wide and again the Barry M same as on the other one um, quite flat um, and, and quite wide as well so all the brushes on these nail polishes are really good this this month apart from that 
Primark one. So that was another nail polish that I wore. And then finally, I had a bit of a lazy day. Um, and I thought, do you know what? I, I tend to combine two, sometimes three colours in one manicure. And it does take that little bit of extra work to do that. Um, so I thought I would just be lazy one day. And I just did a single colour manicure for a change. This is a Nails Ink um, nail polish in Westbourne Park Road. It is a gorgeous sort of like a mauve, like a cool toned mauve uh, sort of shade and it is stunning. This one, the big lid does come off entirely and then you are left with just this little black um, handle for the brush, which I wish the Primark ones did. Um, and that is the brush, nice and flat, but wide. And this applied perfectly. I mean, this is nails ink. Um, they don't, they don't have the reputation for beautiful nail polishes for no good reason. This was stunning on my nails. In all honesty, even though I was having a lazy day and I just wanted to do one simple colour, you didn't need to dress this up. You didn't need to add anything to make this look special and spectacular on your nails. It does it all by itself. You don't need to add any sparkle to make it look amazing. This colour on my nails looked sophisticated and classy and yeah, I just loved this manicure on my nails this month and yeah, I really, really did enjoy it. So those were all the manicures that I wore for the month of May. Um, if you enjoy any of these colours this month, let me know which one was your favourite manicure that I wore this month. And if there's any specific colours or colour combinations that you'd like me to try for next month, then let me know in the comments section down below. I do read and reply to every comment on every video I make. It's just my way of giving back to you, my subscribers. Um, and that is it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when the next video goes up. And I will see you.